So this morning, we'll continue with cultural diversity. If we are able to finish everything for this morning, um, next meeting, we will start with um, Asian cultures. No, So I would like to do it um, by region. So we will start with Asia, moving on to Europe, then Africa, and then North and South America. So at least you'll be able to know, know what are the cultural differences per each continent no, and the countries within that continent. Because in Asia, even though we belong to the same race, no, we are all Asians, man, no, Philippines are part of the Asian race, no, and Japanese, Korean, but we have different um, cultures as well, no, although, um, like, Koreans or Japanese or kita as Filipinos, we are very conservative, but lahi ang atu ang marag perception when it comes to, to being modest, no, or even how we treat, um, popular people no or how we treat um, other people no even our our food etiquette no tanan lahi ta no so ato an nang ilailahon tanan but at least we are aware ba because there are some things mga good class nga again dili siya offensive sa tuang part but offensive di siya sa uban tao no and we need to develop this cultural sensitivity last time no uh, i discussed Naman nga culture is is not inherited, it is not um, right or wrong. No, maman ang mga koan sa mga misconceptions about culture. So we'll proceed the. Okay, we are done with that. Okay, let's now proceed to E.T. Hall's high and low context cultures. So, low context cultures rely on elaborate verbal explanations, putting much emphasis on spoken words. They tend to be in Northern Europe and North America, which place central importance on efficient delivery of verbal messages, like speech, should express one's ideas, thoughts as clearly, logically, and convincingly as possible. So, under low context cultures, it's more on... I will distinguish what kind of culture you have na based on on how you express them verbally, no how you express your ideas, your thoughts, no and how you convince another person on say mo mga beliefs and ideas. So communication is direct and explicit meaning um it is straightforward, no beating around the bush. When we talk about beating around the bush no kanang well, dili na maglikoy likoy no kanang straightforward ay no very blunt ka ayo no most especially in the North America and in Europe no where, where they tend to be very um kanang prangka no dili sila ingon nga para sa tuang nga we have the modesty or or naatay ka ikog no um we tend to filter out or sugarcoat what we say because we are afraid of offending other people but but in countries or in, in continents like in Europe and in North America, no, they tend to be very blunt, no, so did so that you no, like so, and agreements are concluded with specific or legal contracts no, and it's very detailed no, when when they make an agreement in the contract or when, when they relay it into, into words or, it, or kung ilan na isulat, no, kompleto na sa nang detali, wala na iliko liko nga, ah, na ay but na apay ko ana na no na apay liko na no no dito sa dayon sila so if you compare no countries that exhibit low context and high context culture those who belong to the low context are usually kato ko na mention no are in European countries or nasa North American countries so sa mga North American countries no like you have USA, no? Kana mga South America, mo siya mga Latin, uh, Latin countries class. So, they get down to business first, no? Business da yun, wala, wala na yung mga small socializations or talks, no, to earn your trust, no? I'm here to do business, straight away, no? Expertise and performance are valued rather than, um, ko ano, other things. Agreements emphasize specific or legalistic contract, and negotiations are as efficient as possible. Unlike you no, know, when we conduct meetings, you always have to be like, nagan pataog mga kanang koan class no when when we conduct our meetings, nagan patag kanang mga mga di ba formalities no kanang mga 
additional na kuan nga dili na tani siya ang ah, i-include sa meeting no na ana tay mga yung ana no na yung mga small talks na yung mga kuan like we don't get down to business right away no especially when we have gatherings no so storya pa nauna no para sa mag stalling pa ta no so under high context those who establish social trust first i need to get to know you first before i do business with you or i I associate myself with you, no? Mo na ang oban nga cultures, no? So, if you encounter pohon in the business, no, people from Europe, no, no, dili na ka magpalikoy, likoy, pahulaton pa ni mo sila, napakaipalantaw nga video or clip, no? Dili sila ginahan, ano, no? Dito so din sila og transaction. So, unlike the Chinese, Korean, Japanese, or Vietnamese, or naa sa Asian nga countries, no? Pinataan na, no? More ta on social trust, no? Ato apang lantaon ang personality sa usaka tao before we associate ourselves with that person. And personal relations and goodwill are valued. So, muna kita na adyo tayo mga getting to know you sessions, no? We, we have this, like, bonding experience nga wherein we interact with other um other workmates, no? Na adyo tayo ka na unsa tao gano, eh? Ka na mga trips nga wherein mas stronger pa adyo ang bond sa mga mga employees, no, mas more taon, because again, no, we, we, tend, we are very social, no, we tend to be in groups, dili ta ginahan nga, oh, maangrila ko para business din, mula ka na dayon ko, no, dili ta yung anak ka strict, no, so agreements emphasize trust, so I'm going to agree to conduct business with you as long as you earn my trust, no, mauna sa mga high context cultures, And negotiations are slow and ritualistic, and that is true, no. Um, if you have seen, kato kakoan ka Coco Martin o kay kay Tony Gonzaga ng salida, no, nga katong naghima sila o before mo accept o deal ang katong Japanese, no, they have to um talk about it during golf or they have to bond first, no, or they have to drink together to know each other, no. Um, although, no, fictional man ang salida, niya, dili mo na siya ato ang dila tang mo rely jud o ka ng mga simulations or real life nga situations. But, that alone is an example. Kay, actually, it, it happens in real life, no? Um, that, that actually is an example of how Asians do do negotiations class or business, no? They, they tend to ko ay class no kanang okay let's talk about it during kanang dinner no or mag socialize sa ta no ila ilahon sa juti ka before ko mo kani anak man ta usually as pinoy no so unlike sa ko an nga dito na no i'm going to look at your your proposal if i like it although i don't know you i'm going to give it a try no i'm going to associate myself with you no but if you're going to do business with Asians usually have to earn their trust first, no? Socialize with them, kigalubilo sa ka. Now, those who belong, no? Arab, Spanish, Italian, English, in the middle, no? Kay, na mas labitin high context and low context. Now, there are times that they also like socializations, but dili patas on or paduga yun compared to the Vietnamese, Chinese, Korean, no? So, ang laha is more on we like to socialize, but we also would like to get down to business, no? So, socialize, then do work. So, yung Anna. Okay, so a high context culture emphasizes non-verbal messages and uses communication as a means to promote smooth, harmonious relationships. They prefer an indirect, polite, face-saving style that emphasizes a mutual sense of care and respect for others. Careful not to embarrass or offend others. Because in in high context culture, you're more into getting down to business. No, You don't really know the person. It saves you a lot from embarrassment no, or offending other people because you do more on business transactions and then you leave. No, mama na lakalabanan. So, it's difficult for Japanese people to say no when expressing disagreement. Much more likely to say it is different is an ambiguous response. In East Asian culture, showing impatience, frustration, irritation, and anger disrupts harmony and is considered rude and offensive. So, among Americans, no, it's natural for them to be rude as long as there are results, no? But for us, we highly prioritize goodwill, a harmonious workplace. That is why we would like we would like to prefer workers who are in good character, no? Sa sa mga Americans, mga good class, or even in Europe, they would like to look at your skill set first. 
if you have the skills, then you're hard. Even if you have a crappy attitude, basta, you can provide results that is okay with me, no? But if, for example, no, if you're going to meet with Japanese people, you have to be in your very best behavior and you have to really show respect, no? Because they value Wala siya, no? The character. Even kita as Filipinos, no? Um, although, kita mag-mix man tao both, no? Because they also prefer your your skill set, no? I have something to offer to the company. But they would also like to have someone who has a very good character. Meaning, total package na ka. Not only that you have the skill, you are globally competitive, but you also have the character. Mo na sa to adere. In Japan, superiors are given favored seating as a show of respect. No, for this away from the entrance to the room. To succeed in Asian cultures, it is critical to notice nonverbal signs and body language. Okay, let's now proceed to Hoss uh Hofstede's classifications of natu- national culture. Since again oh, we are going naman to look at different cultures no, from different countries might as well you know the different classifications of natu- national culture first is individual individualism versus collectivism it refers to whether a person primarily functions as an individual or within a group when we meant about individualism and collectivism how well do you function as a person no are you functional are you productive as a person when you are doing things alone Kay sometimes no, I'm like that, no. I prefer to do it myself, no, kay to avoid disappointments, no, and sometimes kana to avoid clash, no, clashes of 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 ideas. But later on, no, when I became a teacher or no when when before no when, when I was in college, no, I I became president sa SSG. Um you have to work with people. No, kay, if you're going to do it alone, maglisod jug ka, most especially if you're going to organize an event or manage people, it's really difficult if you're going to do it by yourself. That is why you need to function with people. The best thing to do is, no, if if you are an a person who likes to be alone, do things by yourself, make sure things are done, kung ikaw rajud ang mubuhat ana, but you need to be a team player, the best thing to do is, if you are provided as the leader, no, I don't know, kay dili man ko di man ko motivator no ay dili man ko dili man ko jud maayo with ko ano not all the time perfect jud ni ako ang strategy but what I do is ko ano um be democratic no something like that no? you if you are established as the leader ko ikaw ang leader you have the power to disseminate no um mga trabahoon sa imong mga tao like for example oh we're going to meet this goal no dapat by the end of the month mahuman na nato ni og decorate mo ni siya or ma-accomplish ma- nato ni mo ni siya tong goal by the end of the month how do we reach from point A to point B how do we reach nga ko ay no nga sugod pa lang tahang ton maabot ta sa pinaka end of the month nga nahuman na nato tong trabaho on so i have already broken down all of our task para mas dali no divide and conquer ta so imbis kita tanan magdungan taghimo sa sa kabutang dugay ta mahuman ana so tong buhaton is i break down nato siya into little task no for example it's like cleaning your house no if you're going to do or, or all of you manilhig mo dungan nya wala 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 nang hugas og pigan wala nang laba wala nang kuan dugay kay mo mahuman no because you're only focus into one area but if you're going to Divide and conquer, no? For example, oh, ikay, ikaw mo, kamong duha, ang laba mo. Ikaw, kuan ka, hugas ka. Kita dili manilhig ta, manrapo, ikaw kuan. At least, dali kay mahuman, no? Kay, you're doing different tasks, but it's still towards the same goal, which is, of course, not to have a very clean, clean house, no? That's divide and conquer. So, if you do not work well with people, kay, naanag ka nga, ikaw, jud usa, you can do that. You can disseminate them little tasks so that you can still accomplish your own task without other people. But at least you are a team player. Kada ganing, although, wala ko nakitrabaho ani nila sa Osaka area, we are assigned to different areas, but at least we are working together as a team. I can have my peace of mind, no? Ako ra osa dire mag, mag manilhig baron or manrapo. At least, 
balak ako ra osa ani o kami tanan gawat ming lain lain nga task towards the same goal something like that so that's what I like to do no kay sa tayo sa good class kung daghan kung kadungan for example no pres atong when when I was tasa sa there as he um coordinator sa una no niya mo decorate ni sa stage no sa sa auditorium no back before nga wala pa ko na ko an sa sa tourism so kaya ko nga kung kami tanan mag decorate sa auditorium daghan na kaigtaw so na ako i-assign nga mo palit sa tanang materials na ako i-assign mo palit sa pagkaon na ako i-assign nga maghimo sa photo booth para dili tanan magtapok sa stage para di pa maglabad akong ulo so at the same time We are all doing small tasks, but towards the same goal, which is to finish decorating the entire auditorium. So, kami tanan no naglap naglap tami. At the end of the day, bahalagay iya may utrabaho na human siya nung tanan ng decorate ng auditorium. That's that's something. That's that's one of the examples ng ako ang ginabot usahay no ng yes, I can be team player, but I can also be an individual person doing my own thing, no? So, mo na siya. Um, there are people mang good nga, they function as an individual. No? They are productive when they are alone or they do things by themselves. There are also people who function if they are in a group, no? They, they, are, they are not motivated enough to do things on their own, but if they have enough help or if they are with a team, mas motivate sila. And sometimes, I see that in my students, no? Again, as what I've mentioned, kato naka-decorate ko sa stage sa una sa auditorium, no? Nag-handle mi sa ARSC officers. Nag-handle sila. Nga, naiuban nga, kung tagaling mo usa ka task, nga siya rausa na, dili niya buhaton kay feel niya nga, kapoy, siya rausa, no? Kanang, dili niya makaya. So, ikuwig na ko siya sa, kanang kung daghan sila. Nga, malingaw siya, kanya siya mga katabi, no? Nga, malingaw po siya kay, of course, no? Mara po, ga, gamingle, ga-socialize siya siya ang mga kauban, pero, Gaho, gahi mo sila aning task na kong ipabuhat. So, something like that. No? Because there are people nga, they cannot function by themselves po, no? So, ano, ano? Iyan nga preferences. Okay, power distance. Power distance describes how society deals with inequalities in power that exist among people. No? Like for example, if you're more into eat the rich kind of mentality, what do you mean by eat the rich? Kana ganing gusto ka, overpower ni mo ang koan, no? Ang mga dato, no? By 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 not only by uprising but but also taking action yourself no so for example no if the society deals with inequalities in in power no like for example ang naara ng mga dato ra or kanang naara sa sa gobyerno ang naa naa sa you know those who are in power ang matagaan og og privileges nya ang society if they feel they feel indifferent about that, that's power distance, no? Kanang, dili mi comfortable nga kamura ang, ang naasa power or kamura ang muabuso sa inyong posisyon. Ya, kami din ang naasa obos, no? Mga pobre or incapable, no? Kay, kay alkansi ka ayaw mi, no? We are not given the same privileges as you. So, we feel indifferent, we feel angry about the the power abuse that you have no that's power distance for example, you know, for example no in in your classroom and you have president no na take advantage sa iyang power as the president bossing you around being um like for example no kana taking all of the credits sa inyo hang gitrabaho no and then if you feel indifferent or angry about it that's power distance no but if you feel okay about it no kana murag ko ana kaayo mo no ana ka nag okay ra ninyo nga daog daogon mo no mapuna siya no mapuna siya ang gitaw na to nga how you deal with inequality no so power distance can be both imuhang pagdeal sa inequality about power is very strong you're angry about it or okay ra ninyo nga daog daogon ka no so power distance can be both naanad ka nga daog daogon ra ka okay ra ninyo Or power distance can also be, dili ka ginahan nga abusaran ka, na and you're angry about people who abuse their power. Sa mo na siya ang power distance, no? Describes how you deal with inequalities of those who are in power. Next, uncertainty avoidance refers to the extent to which people can tolerate risk and uncertainty in their lives. No, so sometimes, no na ay mga cases class nga. We have this flight or fight mode. No, na iba naman makatolerate sila og risk and uncertainty. They can adapt to that, such as the pandemic. 
no? So they have their fight mode. No nga. I I I can tolerate the uncertainty, no? Uh the world is VUCA. It's volatile, uncertain, no? It's complex and it's ambiguous, no? Meaning wala ka balloon sa inaaugba, no? Times have changed and we do not know if it's safe to go outside or if we can return back to normal, no? Because the world is changing, not just technology, not just how people think, but even the world itself, no? How we live, no? How we how we do our certain task every day. Gausap-usap na siya, class, no? Kay, again, wala siya takabalo, wala mga takabalo nga, mag-pandemic, diba? So, it's it's the level no of how you tolerate risk that's uncertainty avoidance there are people also that are not ready they cannot tolerate uncertainty they fear change they are afraid of of what comes in the future so flight mode ang iyahang gipili no kay when you encounter stress or uncertainty or changes in your life there are two things you either fight or flight no flight mode is when you escape stress by being in denial yung iba person ng wala agradya po kaya tungod feel nila wala ray pandemic or they keep telling themselves nga ah fake raman ang pandemic wala ray na siya it's fine for me to do all these things pariya sa una no because you are in denial no you do not want to face the truth that you need to really adapt to the new normal no na po ni Maki's class like for example no you're going to leave a certain place and you're still in denial no dili nimo dili mo embrace ang ang fact nga you're going to leave or there are changes that's flight mode no and sometimes no people like that can sometimes be like close minded no or ban sila ha kanang very paranoid ka ayo pero kato maka tolerate or risk uncertainty no ila is more on ko ano kasera sera no whatever will be will be no whatever the future holds i'm ready to adapt to it i'm ready to to be flexible no? i'm ready to change no kay wala man trick consistent diri sa kalibutan class change na man jud so if ever the situation calls for change i need to be ready no kay skin dili ta ready kin hanglan ra japon kay next is masculinity versus femininity Uh, refers to society's orientation based on traditional male and female values. Actually, it's part of um, pop culture. No, lang ako na mention sa mga bata for sa first year ang feminism. So there are different kinds of feminism class. Na feminism nga toxic. No nga feel nila nga. Kaya ani mong gunay class. When you mention equity and equality, it's different. No, ang ang equity bang good is uh Uh, for example, ha, mo, mo illustrate ko ninyo ang difference between equality and equity. Para mas ma-appreciate pa dyan na to ang... Kaya, uh, suppose, I'm just to, to illustrate, no, equity versus equality. Na ay illustration na actually in Facebook nga. Perfectly explains equity and equality. Now, I'll be talking this first before dealing with Um, feminism and masculinity. No, I did make a post about toxic masculinity and and healthy masculinity. No, niya ako tushang gidili kay people can be snowflakes on Facebook. No, so okay, niya example. So equality and equity. No, we keep on talking about we deserve equality, equality, equality. But why not strive for equity? So let's say. Ato lang ibotang, no? These are people with different circumstances, no? Siya, um, although, makikita naman siya without the box, pero because of privilege, no? Pwede ito siya mahalin tulad sa dato, class, kaning nakapula nga t-shirt. Because he has already privilege, no? He has the privilege of, of getting a box for himself to see further, even though makita naman siya, bahala wala ni ang box, no? Pero he can see further. He is given the privilege to to clear, uh, to see the game further or in a wider perspective because tagaan siya ang box. The second girl, although makakita siya, no? Itagaan siya same box, aning nga tao. Makita siya per gamay ra, no? Dili pareha siya yung makita nga. Dako d'yo ka ihang makita, no? Lapad ka ayo. Gitagaan siya box. Same box sa aning tawahan niya. No, all are given same boxes. Gitagaan sila box. 
kani siya, maski hindi na siya kinangalan og box, itagaan siya og box because of privilege, dako na kayo siya makita sa world, no? Kanang, i- pwede rin gani, wala siya box, makikita rin siya sa game, pero mas dako na kayo siya makita, no? Well, kaning tawa, kaning babae, itagaan siya same box aning lalaki, makita siya per gamayra, no? Yung sayo mo, kinto pa siya para makita pa dyan siya maayo. Well, ang PWD, Tagaan yung same box, ano yung duha katao po? Same box sila tanan. Pwede rin siya po siya makakita. No? So, if you ask for equality, kung unsa gihatag sa dato, ihatag po sa mga pobre. Ay, for example, kung girespetar na ko ang mga dato, mo respetar po ko sa mga pobre, o mo respetar po ko sa middle class, that's equality. But still, that cannot elevate no, their situation. Di rin siya po sila matabangan. Oh, unsa may mahi mahi itabo nga kitagan ko sila equal nga treatment. But it does not elevate the situation of katong poorest of the poor. Ang dato noon, no? Ang dato noon mas mo dato og samot para sa pud anang giving out mga ayuda or cash abi. Ikaw dato na kayo ka, you can store food, you have the means to buy food for your own. Kitagan pa sugak ayuda sa gobyerno. So ning daghan pa jud imong food, di ba? Kato na sa middle class nga sakto-sakto ra. Tagaan siya same amount sa food nga gihatag po sa dato. Nga, tani, tagaan ta siya daghan. No, kay, for example, if kita gag usaka pak ang, ang dato, tagaan po usaka pak ang katong sa middle class. Nga, we're in, isang kahig isang tuka ra po sila, no. They can get by per day ra, per daily should enough. No? So, supposedly, kung equity pa na siya, daghan ta ni ihatag sa iyaha, no, kay, dili ma siya pareha sa situation sa katong dato. So, kita kaan siya kung saka, saka bag rapot o ayuda para sa katong dato. No? Pero, it is okay, but it is not enough. Well, katong pobre, ha, nga pobre siya kaayo, kinalala tayo nilang daghang kipagkaon, no, to elevate their situation, or daghang pagkaon, or tabang, no. Tagaan na po siya kung saka pak. Yeah, daghan po siya anak, to ibutag pulo ka buok. So, kana ilang pagkaon, di rapot na siya enough for that day alone. Although, na equality kay kung sa'y gihatag sa, po, sa pobre, mapod sa dato, no? Kung sa kabag nga, nga food, gihatag sa dato, mapod gihatag sa pobre. That's equality, but it is not enough to elevate their situation. But unless you look at equity, nga, wala gitagaan ang kan lalaki, no? Kay makakira mas, he can see f- clearly, no? It's fine without the box. He doesn't need it. So, ihatag na sa mas nakinahanglan nun. Which is the girl. Because she can't see clearly. Nagkinto pa gani siya. Ang PWD, gitagaan siya o ramp na same level, adili same level na, pero at least ma- enough nga makakita po siya sa same view aning tulo katawo. Or kaning duha katawo di ay. So that's equity. You know, giving the appropriate needs sa appropriate nga tawo. So appropriate amount of needs, appropriate amount of tao. If you are going to analyze this sa, sa rich and poor, ang dato, yun siya kinahalang tagaan. Kaya he has more than enough. He has unlimited supply of food and resources. He has the means to buy his own food. So, he will not be given any. Instead, no, it should be given to those who really need it, such as the girl. The girl can cannot see, no, person lang sa middle class, no, Gitagaan sila, pero dili siya enough, no? Kay, dili man sila parya sa mga dato nga na kaya. So, gitagaan siya duha. No, more than sa dato nga wala siya na dawat. Kaya tungo, that is what she needed to elevate her situation. Ang PWDR, tayo ang poorest of the poor, in order to elevate their situation, they, ha- they have to be given, no, tanan nga resources in order to give them a comfortable life. Now, here is the argument, no? Al- alang nga naman po sa class, no? Nga, higila tag-hatag nga hatag po, no? Mag-abusar po na sila sa resources. O po na siya, di ba? The question is, dili po sa tanang panahon, magsigila tag-hatag o hatag ang gobyerno. No? They need to also be taught or given opportunities to work and earn their own money. So, siguro the better way to put it, to put this is, but is mga yuda tagaan sila enough to get them by pero also provide them with opportunities para sa pud sa dato ato ibutang nga uy another situation na pud ha apply ang equity versus equality 
hala, naamata siya talent o, oh, or naamata siya potential. Nga, no, wala man yung mag develop Because you were not given a privilege, no? Alex, mga dato nga, they can afford to go to music school, they can afford to go to a prestigious university, no, to to earn their education sa, no, quality education, jod, no? Or gitagaan sila o kanang koan gitagaan sila o kanang privilege, no? Kay, naman sila kwarta. Pero kanang nga privilege, that same privilege cannot be given to the poor or to the middle class because they cannot afford. In equity, it should be an all-inclusive school where people can get quality education. Ang workplace no, should not only be be focusing on those who come from big universities but also with people who has potential. No, if the ganito equal opportunity and privileges tanan regardless sa ilahang financial standing, mapubri man or madato, then that's equity. Tagaan mo og opportunities to work, opportunities to offer their their proposals, no? Business proposals baron, opportunities to earn quality education regardless kung pubri man na or dato, that's equity. Give them in uh, same privileges. Para sa po na sa farmers, kung nato class, no, nga, para sa to ang national budget, di ba? I hate to be political. No? Teachers shouldn't be political. Para sa national budget. If instead, mo, mo, laad ang gobyerno, o dako kayo nga budget sa kanang mga butang, like, para sa anang, like, sa torch atong sea games, or unsa pa na siya, no, ila pa niya lang i-fund for agriculture, for research, no, for other fields, nga wala gitagag proper funding. Kung bag-funding sila o mga dago kay infrastructures for other departments, that should also be given to other departments that are also vital no, for our for our society. No, such as in agriculture. No, sorry, dili kay tagaan o, o privilege atong mga farmers. No? So, mapod na siya class. It's really difficult to explain equality and equity. No, usually, among the poor and the rich, ramantanit na siya. No, so, example. No? Nagani liberation po class, no? Mayroon yung liberation meaning, regardless if you are poor or rich or ko ano, there should not be any hindrances for you to have um, the same kind of privileges. So, nakasabot ra sa difference between equity and equality. Hello? Are you still there? Third year. Okay. So why did I talk about equality and equity? It is because um, feminism and masculinity also plays a very big role, no, on on equity and equality. So before, no, we will we were not given equal rights to men because we are also always stereotype or we will we were viewed as, kano no homemaker rajuta pabili na sa balay, we cannot have any career or dreams or jobs, no? We cannot practice the same right or the same things sa lalaki sa una, no? Ang ato na is, tagana to silag anak, then we clean the house, then we become, uh, and, and we become a very loving wife to our husband, no? Supporter, but not more than that, no? We were limited to only just a homemaker. But now, no, there are different waves of feminism, there are also toxic feminism class, no? There are feminism that can empower women, no? Nga, ginahan sila nga, na equity, no? May ito equity, taga, ag, in, same opportunity sa babae o lalaki. Kay, kung equality na class, hulog na na nga, ang babae, tagaani mo siya og trabaho, same sa lalaki. Pero pag abot sa sweldo, dili parihas. O parehas po anang mag-share o, o ideas ang babae, dili ni mo taga ag opportunity pa minawa ng babae compare sa lalaki. No, that's there is equality but there's no equity. No, something like that. No. But if you ask for equity among feminine and masculine, no, sa workplace, no, male and female sa workplace. Kung unsa ang sweldo sa lalaki, same nga trabaho sa babae, para sa putan ni silag sweldo. And if ang koan, when it comes to sharing ideas no, ni mga meetings, paminawan pud ang babae, same silang gibuhat pud sa lalaki, no? Another example of inequality, no, or in inequity in in the uh, amongst men and women. Kana ato ang products, no. Ano mas mahal man ang razor, no, kanang shave sa babae kaysa sa lalaki? Ano mas mahal man ang 
ang products ka paliton for women than for men no so that is also some kind of inequi in inequity you know? there is no question about equality kay because with equality same or no gitagaan sila same kind of products from the same kind of brand very inclusive kayo siya pero when it comes to prices dili siya sensitive ana nga part no um, another example is how we label women and men no if we see a very successful woman or woman very successful woman kalabaya to paglantaw niya is it's intimidating or dragon lady siya no kanang maot kay siyog choice kay wala niya gipili ang family selfish siya but when you see a man who is a boss no nga very successful ang ilahang paglantaw na sa lalaki kay king of the empire very strong no very masculine kaayo which is unfair no there's no equity no kay although men and women are allowed to succeed in the same industry pero how people view them is different no mukha kita ganita og babaye nga leader atong ingnon day nga dragon lady or kuan siya no kanang wala siya time si ang family no selfish siya no mas gipili niya ang career kasi siya ang family no kanang mo stereotype nimo ang babaye ko to version dira sa family no to strive for for family which is okay ra no no um People should strive to have a family, but should we teach men the same? No, the, di ba dapat ang lalaki po? We need to also remind them that they have to strive for a family also. So, mopo na siya. No, niya dili dey pwede nga that the woman can have can have her own choice nga to be successful in her career. Kaya yah man ang choice. No, ang lalaki ganit no na yung mga lalaki nga very kuan ka ayon no, babaye door ka ayon nga nga ang sa ilaha class is mas gipili nila ang ilahang career no they like to fool around no they like ginan mo settle down pero wala na sabon sa gi-call out mo wala sila gi gikuan sa society no so ang babae ra usahay no so masculinity femininity, uh, femininity sometimes how society view female and male values Another example of toxic masculinity, no? Feminine naman ito kong i-mention. Toxic masculinity and healthy masculinity. Ang toxic masculinity class is, we expect men to be strong, to be macho, not to cry, not to show feelings, no? To be stoic, to be... Ko ano, kanang... Kanang siyong, ah, boys will be boys, ah, kuan ka siya, no? Bulyagoy ka siya, ay, hanap man siya ng mga lalaki. No, no, that's toxic masculinity, no? Men can cry, men can wear pink, men can be themselves no not having to conform to the to the standards of society nga dapat ang lalaki matchun shoot or dapat ko an ko makita kay kaglakong lalaki nga mo confess sa babay or very emotional ka ayo siya or or for example soft ka ayo siya isungugun da yun og bayot no mo da yun na siya nga ah bayot man na siya kay ko an kanang kanang gina under siya sa babay or kakuan siya no no That's toxic masculinity nga mindset nga magunahuna ka nga ang lalaki dapat ni muhilak dapat ma-under dyan niya ang babae no? dapat kanang kuan strong macho no? no so in order to remove toxic masculinity mindset po we need to also educate boys nga they can be who they want no if if ginahan sila nga soft sila or hinhin or mo show sila emotions or feelings if they like pink or if they cry it's okay no that, that does not lessen their value as a man no hilak din ko oh lo no bayot na ka no that's masculinity and femininity okay individualistic society so di ba upat mo sila kabuok so ato ang i-discuss no tagsa tagsa ang individualistic Starting from kanino, high versus low power distance. I sorry. Starting here the end from individualistic and collective society. So kani pinaka first. So individualistic society stays among people who are relatively loose. Each person tends to focus to his or her her own self interest. Competition for resources is the norm. Those who compete best are rewarded financially. So they tend to to accomplish things on their own. No, they see it as a reward. No, as, and they also see other people as competition. I'm not gonna work with you because you, 
here my competition no i want to prove to my boss that i am the best no and i can accomplish this on my own that's an individ individualistic society no? so countries who and countries class nga who um, established that are Australia, Canada, the UK, and the US no, tend to be strongly individualistic societies. Because, of course, in earlier class, there is more to tend to make them more. Let's provide results. Let's work at this. Collect society among the world are important in individualism. So here, let's no, continue for every few are strongly given an opportunity to their, their skills, their ideas. No? So very koan kaayo, no very team player kaayo, or very democratic kaayo siyang strategy. So group is all important as life is fundamentally a cooperative experience. No man is an island. No conformity and compromise help maintain group harmony. So if you look at Korean dramas, no, they tend to work in groups because that is actually real life. No, they work as a hive. No, they do not work alone. Like I'm going to accomplish this. I'm going to promote. I'm going to be promoted or to to impress my superiors. No. Um, under collective societies, no, like countries like China, Panama, and South Korea, no, you see in South Korea, they work as a hive, no, they work together to attain a certain goal, and they really value their group mates, no, their group members. Okay, let's now proceed to high power versus low power distance. So, high power distance societies have substantial gaps between uh, the powerful and the weak, are relatively indifferent to inequalities and allow them to grow. So, we have like Guatemala, Malaysia, and Philippines, and several Middle East countries. So, of course, no very attainable ra kaayo ang um, powerful, no? Nga class no um substantial ra ilahang gap between powerful and the weak no and we are in indifferent to the mo na na mga activists daghan kita activists diri sa ato a class nga masuko no basta basta ko ay that is true no even sa workplace no makafila ganit nga we are not treated fairly dali kayo ta masuko dali kayo ta mo fight sa ato ang right no so mo na siya we are indifferent to inequalities no, we allow people to grow and we allow our, our, our workplace no, to be treated fairly. No, low power, the sun societies have minimal gaps between the powerful and the weak. So Denmark and Sweden governments instituted, instituted tax and social welfare systems that ensure their nationals are relatively equal in terms of income and power. The United States scores relatively low on power distance. Social stratification affects power distance. In Japan, almost everybody belongs to the middle class. No, so wala dry ka na as high power jud no. What the maingon nga nagmonopolize tanan. No, wala sa Japan, which is a nice nice thing to to emulate. No, while in India, the upper stratum controls decision making and buying power, and they monopolize everything. What do mean by monopolize? No, kana ganing morag they own almost all of the businesses diri nya sila ang magbuot no sa society so in high distance firms autocratic management styles focus power at the top grant uh, top and grant little autonomy to lower level employees which is wrong no um to make the workplace more democratic class no everybody feels uh, they are treated fairly taga na to og opportunity itong employees to involve in the decision making process no and also we also involve our employees when it comes to making plans no for for the business kay if mo buot per me ang ang naa sa babaw ra nya dili sila mo inform dili sila mga yung suggestions na asa katong naa sa mga lower level no na sa mga ubos nga employees then a feel nila nga murag dictatorship no or very authoritarian kaayo no so dili pud na Okay, let's now proceed to high certainty of uncertainty avoidance, no? and high certainty avoidance and low uncertainty avoidance. So this is the third part under classification of national culture. So we are done, no man caning individualism and power distance. Okay, 
High uncertainty avoidance. Societies create institutions that minimize risk and ensure financial security. Companies emphasize stable careers and produce many rules to regulate worker actions and minimize ambiguity. Decisions are made slowly because alternatives are examined for potential outcomes. So to avoid exposing the business to risk, no? So usually companies tend to um, regulate worker actions no? or they make decisions no for long term may take decisions for long term class kana ganing well thought through nga decision nga everyone is involved and before na siya i-apply nga decision it has to undergo a lot of decisions no or a lot of of reviewing okay before na to siya i-apply or before na to siya i i i ko ano i present sa to ang mga tao at to as ang una-unaon og tarong you will we will decide it for days no we will think about it for days and then mag mga yutog mga second opinion sa lain nga mga employees or managers nato and when we finally agree to apply the decision there has to be an alternative plan in case the first decision goes wrong that's avoiding risk no kanang pelnon jud og maayo no dili mag irrational nga okay so mo ni natabo okay we, we will do this no so kuno na unjud tarong ang decision before I apply. So, um, countries that do that are Belgium, France, and Japan. While low uncertainty avoidance, society socialize their members to accept and become accustomed to uncertainty. Meaning, okay, we are prone to risk, so, na should na matabo should um, everyone na na-adjoy malay off sa trabaho, no? Or we will cut off on your salary. Because we do not know, no? So, may ana, no? Kanang, delay sila well prepared for things like that, no? Unlike sa countries like Belgium, France, and Japan, nga. In kaso ganyan, like, for example, there's a pandemic, kung sa may alternative nila, not, not to lose employees, or at least, delay should nga nakadako ang change. But in on uh, in countries that practice low uncertainty avoidance, no? They tend to just tell their, or orient their people, nga. We do not know, ha, if, na pa ba yung kamutanan, magdugay dili sa company, or same ra ba dyan po ng salary, so you need to adapt to certain uncertainty or changes. Managers are entrepreneurial and comfortable with taking risk. So, they make decisions right away. Like, I know we are going to lose a lot of money if we're going to decide on this, but you would like to take the risk. No? So, ano na sila? So, decisions are made quickly. People accept each day as it comes and take jobs in stride. They tend to tolerate behavior and opinions different from their own because they do not feel threatened by them. Okay, so Mark Alha is whatever comes tomorrow, Malaysia na siyang matabo. So countries that do this are India, Ireland, Jamaica, and the US. So na tayong mga fifth dimension pa di ay, no? Next is masculine and feminine cultures. Masculine cultures value competitiveness, assertiveness, ambition, and the accumulation of wealth. Both men and women are assertive. They focus on their career and earning money and may care little for others. Examples of those countries are Australia, Japan. The U.S. is a moderately masculine society. But you can see naman po because they are a very patriarchal country. They are not comfortable with having a woman as a president. No, although they have... Um, um, a lot of kana mga mga vice presidents ng mga babae, no? But they are not really comfortable with a woman president, no? So, as our Hispanic cultures that display a zest for action, daring, and competitiveness. So in business, the masculinity they mention manifests a self confidence, proactiveness, and leadership. It's more on getting things done, being aggressive, no? So work or assertive, no? Being ambitious. We do not have care for other people, no? If you feel offended, we do not care as long as you can contribute no, to the business. But if you continue to be rude and if you do not, uh, like for example, if you do not care for the company, kay wala pa siya kay koan, then kick out siya yun ka nanina. No? Kay wala kay contribute, no? So, ilaha is more on the results, no? of achieving goals, meeting the quota. So, muna ang under sa masculine cultures. Feminine cultures emphasize on nurturing roles, no? As expected of a woman, or stereotype, interdependence among people, meaning, we do not work alone. 
we care for other people and caring for less fortunate people for both men and women. So examples of that are Scandinavian countries where welfare systems are highly developed and education is subsidized. So there are also other countries. Uh, there was actually a, ho- a hotel. I forgot the name, no, but they value more on on your character and what is your previous work no, and how you deal with your work. So can you hotel, for example, no, if they would like to look for a manager, they would like to look for someone who also has um, a background in teaching. Now, although wala siya hospitality skills, but has the background to teaching because ngita man silag manager that who can teach or who can train people who are very nurturing, no, who are open to trainings, no, kaya basta teacher ka kuan man ka, no, kanang open maka for learning, for trainings, no, dali na kaya katudluan. At the same time, kuan ka, no, you are very good at teaching or empowering other people. So, muna ilahan, no, more on the value of the person rather than um, kung ano ang, ang imuhang skills. Okay, kung ano pa na, mangita dyan na sila ka ng tao nga, nakasulay na gilaan nga hotel. No? Okay, so let's now proceed to the fifth dimension. So we have the long term versus the short term orientation. So Hofstede added a fifth dimension, which was not mentioned earlier. No, kay opatra man to siya. So he also mentioned the long term and the short term orientation. So, bagol na siya include. No, pareha sa seven piece of marketing good class, de ba? Before you have four piece, karon pito na siya kabuok. No, na anay um, process people. And physical evidence, no, sa four piece of marketing, nimo seven piece. Sa dimensions pud niya sa national culture class, imbes nga upat, nag add siyag usa. It was not mentioned in his earlier study, but again, information can tend to evolve from time to time. No? And then, pasensya kay class, okay. Na, distract ko for a while. So, like for example, no, sa study po ni ko, uh, like the Bur- uh, not Burkhardt and Medley, ani uh, Butler, no, ang iya pong Teresa model, nag-evolve po siya from time to time. So, yan na po na, no, sa so, kaning dimension sa national culture. So, this dimension describes the degree to which people and organizations defer gratification to achieve long-term success. So, long-term orientation tends to take the long view to planning and living, focusing on years and decades. They Mga siya, no, pang long-term sila mo plano nga. Although, you will not get results right away, but it would be all worth it. Because, when we, when we plan, or when, when we make decisions, pero after five years pa magkita ang results, it will, it will all be worth it. Because, abot na after five years, okay na, no, mas, but na sa better situation. So, example, ano, are traditional Asian cultures like China, Japan, Singapore, which partly based these values on the teachings of the Chinese philosopher Confucius. So, who espoused long-term orientation, discipline, loyalty, hard work, regard for education, is tea for the family, focus on group harmony, and control over one's desires. Like, for example, no, uh, usually in Asian countries, we are always stereotyped as smart people no, because we love education so much. But it is because no, we value education because we plan for the long term no nga bahalag dugay ko makahuman og college nga muskwela pa jud ko og, og, og graduate school it's an investment because in the long run after i graduate no this investment ma pakita na ko sya for example no ka graduate ka college makahuman pa jud ka graduate school you have a master's degree you will land a job in and a better institution because you have a lot of credentials and you are ready to work um, in a place nga nag need sila o globally competitive individuals. So, muna ang long term, no? bahalag dugay kong human aning skwila-skwila or bahalag dugay kong human aning planning or training or making decisions about this one. At the end, nga mahuman na ko aning sa kuang process mo, pila na ka years na ang labay, no? it's an investment because it will help me. No? But katong mga short term orientation, no, which they do not have the patience, no, to develop themselves, no, their careers for the future, 
gusto nila I would like to earn money right away no I do not have time to study kay para na ako masigid ako skila kapo you know and I should be earning money right now no that is why most countries like in the US or other western countries they're more on short term orientation no they they are more on I want to earn money now I want to see results now so I have to make decision now no so ana na sila no Usually, ang Asian culture is lahi, no? Kita kay ato yung planuhon usa. No, parsa nang when when you go to college or when you plan for a house, gina gina planu yun na siya. Dahil no, it takes years of planning, no? It takes years of investing. Even ikaw as a person, it takes years for you to invest on yourself, no? So mo na siya class. No, those are the five dimensions, no? Ni Hofstede on national culture. Okay, any questions? So, let's start a great note. Kaya gamayro ang ning attend. Um, we will not proceed with OM today. Anyway, last naman ito, no, history of OM naman ito itong i-discuss. So, we will just proceed with OM next meeting, which will be on Wednesday. I don't know if na ay holiday ron nga week. Mag next week pa man goro. So, we will proceed with um history of OM next meeting and then we'll also continue with cultural differences next meeting now we'll just stop diri lang sa fifth dimension perhaps it's not too much no kuha na lang duha na lang ka slides um ta sige lang ato na lang na i-finish kay after sa duha ka slides ane no proceed to din sa asian cultures actually na mention naman diri no kay compare man ang asian o western cultures pero ano ato pa yung iko ano even their traditions their rituals ato pa yung nang i-discuss further Okay, questions. I will count from ten. No, and then when. Madam. Yes, Elaine. May ano po holiday po sa Wednesday, Ash Wednesday po. Ay okay, I forgot. Okay, so Wednesday is Ash Wednesday. Um, I will just ask Sister Terry. Haka usually sa una, no, kung Ash Wednesday, na ay mas, and then classy ra sa hapon, wala classy sa morning. Since our class is is assigned or na schedule man sa morning so I do not know yet okay so I will just make an announcement kaya mag tong pukog school this afternoon I have to ask the dean myself if ever on saan plans kaya next week I think Monday na po yung holiday pero wala po ka kuan na okay then I will just get back to you no inform you if if ever there is class on Wednesday if there is a mass early in the morning no or on saan plan no po ni sister Anna okay Some more questions. I will count ten. No. So, mama gana sya. Um, we will end our class after a count of ten. Okay. So, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So, since sulat naman tay questions, let us end our class with a. Prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, goodbye, girls. Goodbye, Dom. Goodbye.